Yeah. Do you, do you think it got worse? I... She just left her memory for real. It's not that bad, is it? It doesn't burn anymore, so I'm gonna give that a, a thumbs up. Hi, my name is Dr. Rubin. I'm a board certified allergist. I'm going to go over some basics regarding skin testing so you understand what's going on in case you need it for yourself. And if you want to learn more about your health, hit that follow button. Allergy skin test is done. We take a little liquid extract of a potential foreign substance that you may be allergic to, such as pollen, mold, cats, dogs, or dust mite. And we take those liquid extracts and scratch the top layer of your skin, usually with a piece of plastic, to introduce a little bit of that allergen to some of the cells of your immune system called mast cells. And so if you are potentially allergic to that substance, you have in your immune system these antibodies that specifically bind to them called immunoglobulin E or IgE for short, that sit on the surface of those mast cells. So if there is an interaction between the allergen and the antibody that's specific to it, it activates those mast cells to release histamine. That is the chemical that causes the reaction on the skin where surface blood vessels become leakier and you see that redness around there that's called a flare and then the fluid buildup which is that bubble that you typically see with like a mosquito bite is called a wheel. To make sure that the skin test is as accurate as possible, we'll put a couple of control tests on to make sure that your skin is properly reactive. So there'll be a positive control test, usually it's histamine, which is the substance we directly put on the skin to create a hive, and then a negative control that should not react, such as glycerin. Fun fact, prior to histamine being widely available as a positive control test for skin testing, we often used codeine because we know codeine can directly activate mast cells to create a little hive. The size of the skin test reaction does not really correlate with the severity of disease. You may have some people who have really big reactions and don't have significant symptoms, and other people who have small reactions but have really bad symptoms of rhinitis. Also, if you see videos where it seems like everything is reacting, if you don't know what the control tests are showing you, it's possible that the test is falsely positive because they may have a skin condition called dermatographia, which means skin writing. And so the mast cells are so twitchy to just scratching or sheer force that histamine is released regardless of what substance is present. It's just the scratching motion. So in those cases, you do need an allergy blood test in order to figure out what is going on. Let me know if you found this information helpful in the comments section. Share this information widely and follow if you want to learn more about your health.